we, we go through the, um, we call them the seven, I call them the rich base seven basics, right, the MKG seven basics. I'm not who but so let me turn you this way. And so we're just going to go here like this, the base who but Generally, guys, you're going to feed the patty of the forearm here, catch, lift, pat, and feed. So usually the first switch that taught is to push. So I push the center line, he rides it across the center line. Next one is up, both from the catching hand here is the dissolve. So you roll, you hack, trap, and then backhand. He lifts out to complete the switch. So I go here, one, two, and he lifts out. That's it. Okay, try to keep the fingers relaxed. Okay. Then the last one is to lift, trap, and backhand. Wedge it here, trap, and backhand, and he lifts out. That gets his back on the other side. So we, I just call it wedge switch, or we just call it corner to corner, like this, right? So first one from the connection is I push here like that. Okay, push. That's it. You ride it. Second one is to dissolve, and the idea is that there's pressure here a little bit. So I roll it, I hack, and then trap and backhand. Don't do this though. Sometimes people are kind of going like this. They'll go like this. I'm not. You got to feed. Like you're gonna hit them here. So when I dissolve this here, I go one. And then, boom, I trap. So i got to move my body to the side for that to make sense. Sometimes it's the same problem is people are trapping and hitting him in the hand. You're not targeting his hand. You're targeting the neck or the face here like that. He lifts, and then we're out. Okay. Same. And then the last one, the last switch is to lift, trap, and backhand. Trap and backhand. Now he lifts out and puts us on the left side. Right? So those are the three switches. Okay. Uh, Let's just start with the switches. Okay, the idea with this, guys, is that we dissolve the, the shell. This being the shell, catch with pack feet, starts to go away. It starts to just be a lot of switches. Good, good, good. That's it. Right? Push, good. Roll. Huh? Wait, then lift. Now lift. Yeah, that's it. I roll. See it? So we try to, we, eventually, what we want to do is sometimes it'll go like this, right? So we're here. Good, lift out. And I go one, two, he lifts, I switch, I push, you know, you're constant, constant, constant. That's where we're going with it. You don't need to be there now. But, but understand, we want to be like really solid with at least these switches and then the manipulations of the move. Okay, let's grab a car. Yay, okay. Manipulation. So you've got four bases. Inside arm drag, you pass to the sides and feed out the other arm. So when I do the inside arm drag, I'm going here, I pull or, and or I step, then I cut with this hand just to keep the flow going. You guys know as a technique, sometimes we'll arm drag and close on, sorry, I tell you. And I can start to choke or whatever. But for training, what I like to do anyways for this is I go here and then I feed him that so he's in the habit of stopping this thing, hitting him in the face, right? Now the other one, so the doubt is outside arm drag is from the wedge, right? I trap the elbow and I drop and then feed like this. And again, application would be more ballistic, but we don't do that for training. We just go here, pull, right? So that's just a lever we call it. Here, this. Then you got the two levers, one to the inside, a hack, and I'm dropping my weight onto that elbow here like this. I usually pass it and feed it again. So here, if I go one, two, then I push his arm out and feed that side. And then you have the same thing on the outside. So this is the lift, it's like lopsided. You hack, and then go here, okay? Rolling it like that. If for some reason, this isn't really part of the basics, but you should be able to feel this. If his thumb is facing that direction or his pinky is facing towards you, and you can't even get to the crook, then follow the elbow and go in a straight arm. Right? So that's fine because you're training a reaction. You're training as soon as I feel that, I'm like, ah, okay, I go this way because of the way his elbow is. But if I can turn it, and now I see I turn his, his thumb up and I, and I go into the inside and pull. So you've got inside arm drag. Outside arm, we call it an arm drag still, even though it's kind of more like a drop. We call it the lever, where I'm putting all my pressure right on the crook of the elbow and driving it into me, or to the outside, doing the same manipulation. 